Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about branch policies in Azure DevOps. Here's an Azure DevOps project that I created in an earlier video, and you can see that there's a repo in here and it has a couple of files, including this README file. There's no policies on any branches here, and in fact, if I look at the branches, the only branch that exists is the master branch. Um, and because there's no policies, I can do things like here where I've, I've actually cloned it to my local drive and I can say get pull origin master make sure I have the latest and then uh, I can you notice locally here I have those two files and this one is open right here I can add a quick simple change here and say change one and save it yes I do want to save it and um, then do git add git commit and git push directly to the master branch. And there it is. And that worked, it was successful. And you notice when I refresh this page, that change appears right here because I'm in the master branch right here. That's perfectly legal. However, let's set some policies on this. To set policies, I need to come over here to the menu and select branches. And this is a little bit hard to find. There's the branch right here, the master branch. It's the only one that exists, but that's what I want to do. I want to prevent anyone from checking things, pushing things directly into the master branch. So what I'll do is over here on these three vertical dots, I'll select branch policies. And in here, I have some options here. And one of those options is require a minimum number of reviewers. So I'm going to specify that I want at least one reviewer before you can check that in. So if you try to just push to the master, it'll stop me because nothing's been reviewed. I'll have to create a pull request for that. Now I will say that I'm allowed to approve my own changes and that's fine. And um, that's fine. Let's just do that. Save changes right here. And now we'll try it again. Let's go back here and say uh, get or pull origin master. I'll make a change to that same readme file right here. I'll call it, I'll just change this to change to. Save that. And then I'll add it to my local git repository and commit it to my local git repository. And I'll try to do the same thing, actually, right? Git push origin master. And it was rejected. And the reason it was rejected is because I cannot from here approve that change. What I'll need to do instead is to check out to a new branch. So I'll say git checkout dash b is for a branch, and I'll call it uh, my branch right here. Now I'm on my branch. And now I want to edit this thing right here. Let's close this and reopen it. Notepad right there, change two. I'll change it to change three. How about that? File, save. And now I'm going to add it to my local repository on this new branch. Commit it. right here and now now I'm going to push it not to the master branch but I'll just say git push oops I'll say git push to my branch right here now it's been pushed to my branch let's go back over to DevOps Azure DevOps and look at the master branch and you'll see that it doesn't have change 3 it has change 1 Let's go and look at this new branch that I created. It's right here. It's also, you can see it under branches as well. My branch has been created automatically here. But if I come back over here under my branch, there is my change right here. And the only way I can get to my master branch is to do a pull request and have that pull request merged with a master branch. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back into the branches tab right here and select my branch. And then we will create a pull request right here and I'll call it 
change three. I can put more description in here if I want to. And I'll click on, I can even assign reviewers if I want to as well. But for this demo, I'll just do that. Now, it's still not in master branch yet. And if I try to complete it, it's not going to let me. And the reason is my policy says I must have at least one approver. So if I, I've allowed myself to approve it, so I'm just going to go ahead and prove it right here. And now I can complete it. And that will, this little diagram is showing that it will merge it back into the master branch like this. So now if we go over to here and we look at the master branch, we see that this change has been added. I will show you another policy that I can set if I go back into branches and click on these three vertical dots and select branch policies right here. Then we can have, uh, how about this one, check for linked work items. I'm going to save that, save these changes right here. And what that's going to do is that it won't let me check in uh, uh, merge anything to the master branch until I have linked a work item to it. Now I do have in here, I have a few work items that I created in an earlier video, and that's fine. One of them just called do something. Uh, but let's let's test this out. Go back into my repos and remember right now the readme file just says change three. And so come down here and I'll once again I'll say get checkout dash b my branch my branch has been deleted on the server so i can use that one again oh it already exists i'll call it my branch two how about that and now that i'm on my branch two then i'm going to change this and uh, say notepad read me and i'll make change four save that and exit and once again i'll add it to my local depository on this branch two and uh, commit it with the message change, what did I call it? Change 4, I think. Right there. Okay. And now I want to do git push origin my branch 2 right here. And this works just fine. If I come over here, I should be able to see in branches my branch 2 is here. I can open that up and I can see my changes here on in branch 2, but it's not in the master branch. That's the older version of it here. So what I want to do is go back to branch 2 and create a pull request here. Click on create. All right and I will approve it, and this is all working just fine, but when I try to actually complete it, it says no work items linked. And so what that means is that I have to go back and link a work item to this pull request. Notice in this pull request over here it says no work items linked, and the X tells you that it's required but not satisfied, but right below that these are the work items, and there aren't any listed, and that's the problem. If I click on this plus right here, they can go through and find it. I've only got a few, but I can search for them by name or number if I wanted to. I'll just link it to this particular work item right here. And now I'll approve it again and I will complete it. And now it lets me do that because I've satisfied both of the requirements for merging to master. I'll go back here and look at the master branch and see that there is my change. In this video, I've shown you how to set build policies on a branch, in this case the master branch, in an Azure DevOps project. This is David. Thank you for watching.